back to the channel. We hope you're all safe and well. It's going to be the Leighton Buzzard to the Dunstable section. <laughs> So as you can see, there's route number six, which takes you all the way to Harpenden from here. And we've seen that on many of our videos. So you could go by push bike. If you've got a horse, you could hop on horseback, or you could even take a walk there yourself. Just two miles to Dunstable. Looking back at the station there, just imagine yourself heading on your route to Dunstable, then changing at Dunstable, and then you could go anywhere. And so we resume along the track on our way to Totono and then Dunstable. At this point you can see that the track arcs off this direction and actually goes in a straight line across the road whereas we've got to go up and around the road. That will become clear in a second. track now you can see it going in a 1 in 40 gradient which isn't too bad for us as pedestrians but for a train pulling uh, goods that would have been hard work to the right of us is Totono and we have a picture here which we think is really good and we have a sentinel loco pulling some Totono clunch we have had some works that would have gone off to the right hand side of us unfortunately there is a lot of foliage so we can't show you through that area, but they would have had extensive work so that they could also transport Totono Clunch out of the area. And here's another photo of the Sentinel, which would have been used from the 1950s onwards. So just a little, little loco, but did the job. So we've just come off the track to come down to the bridge that's beneath it and Andy's never seen this one before but we'll just film it a little bit. I know it appears in my Totono video. bridge of which obviously has been replaced at some time we're just going to inspect it we've come down off the track to come down beneath it to film it This is from above the bridge as we approach it. It's obviously been replaced this section. gateway to the Totono hills and lanes. Welcome to the Sewell Cutting. Now you can see on this map a few things that we've already filmed in the past um, including a lovely little picture here of Totono and there's the knolls and that gives you an idea what it might look like. That's the first picture I've seen up here actually and that's of course 
you know about Maiden Bower. We've spoken about that in the past. Absolutely fascinating area. Here you see the nettles. There's the Tottenham Quarry. We're walking along here. We're walking along there. There's that bridge that we just showed you. And now we're about to go into the sewer cutting. And of course, we have mentioned Maiden Bower in a previous video as well. You can imagine two steam trains coming down here. Fantastic. Get your imagination involved. So this is a photograph from above the cutting, looking down into the cutting where we're now walking. Look at this brilliant photo. And here we have a, a telegraph pole um, tension point. Look at that. Still here. I suppose people walk past it with no idea what it is. And probably at the other end of it was this one here. You just about to see it poking through. And we just found a support for a base of a signal. So we thought this might be barren actually for any railroad parts being left over. But no, we're finding some interesting stuff along the cutting. Just looking down the sewer cutting now. Isn't that amazing? Just think of two running tracks here side by side. And we've noticed some concrete here, which is the base of a signal. And after a little bit of detective work, we found the signal. Because actually, this is it in here. You can see it underneath the ivy. Just about see it. See the signal there? It's in good condition. It's just hiding underneath. So nobody would notice me, it says. Well, we've seen it. And there you go. There's one of the signals. Just as we reach the top of the shore cutting, um, just about to go down towards Stanbridge, this here is the remains of what would have been a speed marker. This originally would have been a round um, imprint with the speed restriction in it, possibly 40 mile an hour going downhill. Almost out of the cutting now. Loads of people using it for recreation, which is great. And we're just going to turn left just to show you the lime works at French's Avenue. So here at the top of French's Avenue, you can see the Dunstable Lime Works and it was uh, opened in the 1900s and closed in 1965 and we'll just plan to show you what it looks like now you would have no idea that there was a lime works here whatsoever obviously you can see here a picture of one of the five main open um, lime wagons that the Dunstable Lime Works used to use as you can see the Dunstable Lime Co written quite clearly on it they probably have about 20 or 30 of these in a day. Um, a very, very busy place to work. Where are we now, Andy? Well, I'm just entering Dunstable now. So. will be where we'll conclude this walk for another video will be the next section so stay tuned for that just where as we approach in Dunstable North Station um, here the track bed was three actual lines two running lines and a siding that went all the way along virtually to the top of where French's Avenue is now which was the siding for the council So here we are on the Brewers Hill Road car park section. Uh, just behind us is um, the NHS testing area. We won't film through there for obvious reasons, but we're about to cross over here. You can see where the track would have gone across. You can see that it's higher up than the building to the left, the Incuba building there on the left. 
and we're going to go through there and film by the actual turntable to conclude at the station there which will conclude our video from Leighton Buzzard. Uh, in the 1950s British Rail decided to change all the signal boxes over to a standard type signal box and here you can quite clearly see um, the level crossing and the new signal box on the other side of the track on the downside leading into Dunstable North. This is uh, where Dunstable North Station used to be. Straight ahead of us is the council offices. Well that's roughly where all the sidings would have been and the goods yards and all that um, for all the goods that were coming up from Lacton Buzzard and I dare say coming up from uh, London, um, Hatfield and Welling Garden City. They all drive this up to here. This is the intersection where the London North Western Railway and the Great Northern stroke LNER Railway met. At these two points there was very little through trains so they had to get off one train and wait for the other to become an intermediate station. We're, we're pleased to say that we've actually found what's left of the buffer stop. Can you see that there? Isn't that brilliant? And now we're standing in the area of the turntable and so you can see the circle of the turntable as we turn. All makes sense, doesn't it? Turn table to turn you round. And if anything went wrong, you had the buffer stop. And this is where it would have entered what is now the council car park at Watlin House and it would have exited here going over the A5 heading towards the next Dunstable station in back so that you can see where the turntable is in comparison to where we are just scrolling round and that's where the turntable is just there other side of the trees there this is where the track would have come out over a bridge and you can just see the embankment on the other side heading off to the next Dunstable station and he's just found this in the goods yard which is uh, really interesting so what do you think it is Andy? Uh, well from looking at it it's certainly a telegraph pole but uh, the attachment on this side of it means it was probably um, a gas lamp. Now this, bearing in mind this is where the uh, good yard would have been, so obviously anything lighting here, um, obviously quite high up, uh, hence the ladder uh, and the safety thing feature at the top. Yeah. But this, this is quite some posh um, telegraph pole. Yeah, it's very nice isn't it? Glad we found it. old type signal box, the signal box uh, standard London North Western um, type signal box which was on the up side of the line as it left Dunstable. We have here the photograph of the very last Dunstable Dasher that left Dunstable North Station to go back to Leighton Buzzard. Again this was in June 1962 uh, before the beach enclosures so we can't blame him for this one. 1962-63 time you can see the skin pot flyer which is a class 105 DMU um, and a photograph of the guy standing on the extreme left is a guy I used to know very very well by the name of Brian Lockie. So that concludes our Leighton Buzzard to the Dunstable North video we hope you've enjoyed it we've had a great time apart from the wind that is and we're really looking forward to filming the next section Andy, what do you think? Oh, thank you very much, Gavin. It's been a marvellous day. Uh, this is something I've always wanted to do for some time and never really got to do, so thank you for the impetus to get me out to do this. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, one last thing I'd like to thank Jeff and Sue Woodward for allowing us to use their material in the making of this film. Until then, take care, and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.
do that again. What's the focus You can goal? say that it's a Sentinel Loco if you want to. A Sentinel. So we're back on the track, and to the right of us is Totano. And off the track was some sidings, and here we have a Sentinel Loco, and it's pulling some Totano clunch, which we've talked to you about in our Totano Villa. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Do it again. <laughs> Take three. How's your energy? Oh, fine, mate. Yeah, oh, good. Well, the thing is, I'm too big in the car, but it's exciting to be anything else. <laughs> so I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Good. So that was so up there, that was the line, the bunchable line work. Up. The, the very, very top of the silk cutting was bunchable line work. Up there? Yeah. Yeah. Just a picture from above the cutting of the trains running through this. They're making it this film. So we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and take care. Bye. Bye bye.